Okay guys, we have been talking about anemia in our global health concern series. I am your host Shiman Bhattacharji. In this video we will be talking about classification of anemia and we will be talking about the different type of anemia. And I, I, I want to make it simple because anemia is a huge topic and there are many different names and varieties are there. I try to make it simple as possible. So let's begin. First is the decreased red cell production. Right? If we talk about the different classification, the first thing come on mind is the anemia is obviously you know uh, reduction in the mass of erythrocyte, reduction in the mass of your red blood cell. And one reason can be the decrease in the red cell production or RBC production, right? And in this case, what we know is that the anemia that is caused due to the decrease in the red blood cell production is called as dyshiamuptic anemia. Dyshiamuptic anemia. Dyshiamuptic anemia. Okay. And the anemia which is caused due to the decrease in the red blood cell production is termed as di, dyshiamuopoietic anemia. Now, amuopoietic means, you know, poiesis means the production and it is dyshiamuopoietic means it is interfering with the production uh, of blood cells, right? And in this case, we know it is decreased in the maturation due to the deficiency of maturation factors essential for the erythropoiesis. So it is halting the erythropoiesis due to the problem with the maturation. And it is usually caused for the mineral deficiency like you know, mineral deficiency like iron, zinc, selenium, copper, vitamin deficiency like vitamin B12, folic acid, vitamin C and pyridoxine and hormonal deficiency like anemia of renal diseases, pituitary, thyroid and different kind of other hormonal problems or sometimes protein deficiency problems like high class problems. The second type is hypoproliferative anemia. Hypoproliferative anemia which is called uh, the disease of bone marrow failure is Due to it is actually caused due to aplastic. It actually causes aplastic anemia, myelophysic anemia, which is simply as the bone marrow replacement anemia, and anemia of chronic diseases. The anemia of chronic diseases are you know uh, like thalassemia or sickle cell anemia and so on. Now the second class of all this type of anemia is hemolytic anemias. In the first class what we talked here in the, in, in the previous slide is all about decreased red cell production type and there are two major types we have talked about. Now the second type is hemolytic where it is a destruction of the red blood cell. In the first kind you see it is a problem with the poiesis or the production of the red blood cell. But in this hemolytic anemia, we will see though the level of, an, of red blood cells are fine during the production, but they are destroyed inside our body, right? And in this case, it is can be of very short lifespan of RBCs that are present, right? That's why they are called hemolytic anemia. The third one is the acute post hemorrhagic anemia, which is loss of RBCs. That's why it's termed as post hemorrhagic anemia hemorrhage means loss of red blood cells not only red blood cells actually loss of blood due to any kind of accident or any type of problems like uh, different car accidents and blood loss due to infections injuries and many more fourth kind is the mixed anemia the mixed anemia example is megablastosis associated with the hemolysis where hemolysis is a part along with that megablastosis start to occur. And the fifth one is the dilute, di dilute colon anemia. Now this dilute colonal anemia which is simply termed as a raised plasma volume into the blood. So you know the anemia is previously understood by only the, the disease of red blood cell but it is nowadays found to be associated with the plasma level. You know the the elevation of plasma volume can also cause this problem because if the plasma volume is increased inside the blood so there will be less 
density of the cells that are present in the blood like red blood cells and they, that can create certain problems right and the, then elevated plasma membrane uh, plasma volume in blood actually dilutes our cell right because suppose in your blood for example you have thousand cells in say thousand ml of plasma now let's say the plasma volume becomes 1500 ml but the cell number remains the same so due to the increment of the plasma level the density of the cell in your blood goes down that's the exact problem that occurs in the dilute dilute conal anemia and that's why it's called dilute conal type and the reasons for that can be pregnancy it can be volume overload or oliguric uh, rf uh, factors